You've been very outspoken about race as well, noting how important it is in American politics. Uh, what do you think of the Black Lives Matter movement? Are you hopeful that it will lead to a transformational period in the United States? We still have a profound race problem in this country. It is structural. It combines with structural economic unfairness and amplifies in communities of color. The Black Lives Matter movement has said that we must break down the whole culture surrounding that that we have to call it for what it is. It's structural racism, and it's amplified in so many elements of American life. And until uh, African Americans feel the absence of overt racism, we're just not there. And it, and it is through the prism of what people feel, whether they're followed around in a store, whether they're treated equally in a job interview, but there's a thousand other permutations. So I think this movement has called the question in a way that needed to be done. And in terms of what I've experienced, um, it's increasingly clear to me that the only way forward is to be blunt about it. I spoke about uh, the conversation Charlene and I had with our son Dante about how he had to comport himself in any dealings with the police. And I said something that you know, hundreds of thousands of American families acknowledge as their reality, that families of color uh, know they have to do with their young people. And of course, it became a huge controversy, but it shouldn't be a controversy because it's true, and we have to grapple with it, and we have to change it which is why I'm very proud right now with the NYPD, we're introducing implicit bias training to say explicitly, we are all humans, we all come with biases. We have to explicitly help our police officers to understand those biases, to weed them out. There's a very positive process as human beings getting under the skin of that and expunging it so we can all serve the public properly. Um, this is the path we need to go on. And I do think that this movement will be remembered as one that opened that door and for, finally got us to say a truth that we only said partially before. We say it fully, we can address it fully. Yeah, one of the things that Black Lives Matter is showing is that, that uh, people on, on that side of, of politics, people on the right side of politics, if I may say that, I think that didn't violate Times rules, um, is, are, are feeling good enough about America feel that we have as a nation made not enough but sufficient progress that we can come out of that cringe and we can confront these issues. And we are. Um, systemic racism is a very big thing, but it's nothing like what it once was. There was a, you know, I, I, you will appreciate as well, I will, that uh, I, I look at polling and in the early 1980s, a plurality of the American public still disapproved of interracial marriages. Yep. Now think about how much progress we've made there, and, it, and what we're seeing now is that that progress is not over, despite what may be going on to some extent in that other primary. Um, it's, uh, that we're not going backwards. We are going to move forward. We're going to continue to become a better country, I think, on, on all dimensions. Amen.